Hey guys, it's Luke here. Welcome to the Ad Ninjas tutorial for today. So I'm gonna be doing a quick video showing you uh, one of the recent um, messenger bots that I created. And uh, I actually really love this particular messenger bot because it's something that um, most of us use every day. And uh, it's actually the ability to order a coffee um, through your local coffee shop using a messenger bot. So um, I made this one for a local coffee shop and um, basically what it allows you to do is go in, select your coffee type, the milk that you have in your coffee, um, all, all the things that you would normally, you know, with the size, if you want sugar, all that type of thing. And then the way I've designed it is I want people to be able to basically click one button the next day and order their, their favorite coffee or the coffee that they ordered previously. So it actually has a lot of tagging built into this particular bot and, um, uh, the idea is, you know, when you're on your way to work or when you're walking into work or you want to go grab an afternoon coffee, you jump on a messenger, you hit one button and your order goes straight through to the coffee shop. So I'm going to give you the bot completely free. You guys can just um, click on the link, you'll get the template, you import the template into ManyChat and you can, you can go out and you can sell that to coffee shops um, and drive some traffic and, and make some money out of that. So... Um, I'm going to talk you through it step by step and exactly how I did it, why I set up tags and there is a little bit of um, conditions, that many chat calls them conditions that are built into this particular bot um, but it's really quite simple how it all works. So uh, we'll jump in, I've got the screen recording going at the moment and I'll show you how it works. Alright so you can see I've built this as a flow so a lot of people I see will do like a welcome message or a sequence. Um, I prefer to do it as a flow. You can do it the other way, but I find a flow is much easier because you can import it into other things. So we go into new order. Okay, just go to the flow builder. It's heaps easier to look at it like that. Um, now, just just let you know, you will actually, you're gonna need the pro version of ManyChat. It's only $10 for 500, um, 500 subscribers, so quite cheap. Okay, no, sorry, that's not it. So this is the overview of the bot. So you can see, what are they doing? So is it a new order? Are they reordering their usual? And then um, sometimes people just wanna find out where they are. Or you can also put the menu in there as well. So there's three steps. Each step, they get a tag and then it opens a new flow. So that's that's the really important part. So essentially, if somebody comes to this bot and they click reorder my usual, I've set it up so that the bot knows that you haven't ordered a coffee before and it's gonna send you across to this new order flow. So we're gonna start at the new order flow. It makes sense to start there. So we'll click on that. Okay, sorry guys, accidentally had it on another account. I forgot about that. So you can see this is the new order section. So they start here, it says, what size coffee do you want? So small, medium, large, extra large, and I even put in a Bubbuccino, which uh, you know all about if you've got kids, they seem to love those things. Anyway, so they, they select an option and then they get tagged with what size coffee they want. Now, they also get hit with a custom field that sets their new order with a number. That can be anything you want, you can, just, you can just take exactly what I've done here. It works perfectly. Okay. And then it says, great, what, to what type of coffee do you want? So is it a latte, cappuccino, whatever? And they have the option to click on a button. And they can also type in what they want to. They then get hit with a tag, coffee type. So whatever they put in that field gets saved into a custom field inside of ManyChat. If you're not familiar with how that works, just leave a comment below. All right, now, after they do that, it will automatically take them to this section here. You see that there's a t uh, like a typing, as if to make it look like it's an actual typing section. And it says, what milk do you like? So do you want full cream, skinny, soy, almond? Again, they get tagged with their milk choice. And then it just says, do you want sugar? So they can do no sugar, one, two, three. They get tagged with how many sugars. And then it says, when do you want to pick it up? So the way I designed this was, obviously a lot of people, 
are on their way to work, they're at the office, that, you know, they're still 10 minutes away. So they don't want that coffee straight away. They want it in 10 or 15 minutes. So then they get tagged with a time pickup. Now, after that, it just says, uh, you're all done. Your coffee will be ready when you come in the store. And if, if they go through that section in the first time, that's where the bot will finish. So I put the option to reorder as a button at the end of that, just to make the whole experience a lot smoother. So then what would happen is it would go back and it will open the reorder flow. So we'll go to that now. Alrighty. So it just says, hey, first name, want to reorder another coffee? They get tagged with the reorder tag. And it just says, um, great, we have your usual as. And this is where the conditions come in. So it just says, uh, first name's usual. usual. So it's a X tag coffee size, tag type with tag milk choice, tag number of sugars. So they, they will see that little um, carousel image there with their usual. I'm going to show you this in real time in just a second. And then they have the option to click on reorder. So if they click on reorder, they get the tag. And it just says, when do you want to pick it up? And again, they can select the time that they want to pick it up. Uh, and then you can see there's a custom message depending on which option they pick. So if they say 10 minutes, so to say ordered to you in 10 minutes. Now the other option down the bottom here is if this was wrong, or maybe they want to change their order, you know, sometimes people want a bigger coffee or a smaller one, they can click on new order and that goes back to the original flow and then they can, they can order a new order. So essentially this section here, this reorder section, just saves whatever their last order was. And the reason I set it up like that was because generally speaking, most people reorder the same coffee every day. I know I do. So I just made it that way to set it up really, really easy. Okay, and then the final uh, section is the option to find the coffee shop. So we go into the flow builder. Okay, and it just says uh, this coffee shop is Anxious Goat. And it just says it's a great place to meet up. They've got the option to call us where we are or download our menu. So you would just put the menu in here. And if you wanted to add a PDF of the menu or uh, even a, a gallery qu works quite well, they can just come in and click on file and you would just upload a PDF um, of the menu in there. And then uh, clients can see what you've got on the menu, which is really cool. Now you might even also like to add the option to book a table. Um, it just depends on the client you're working with. So I can tell you from experience, not everybody wants to be st like trapped to their phone if they're a busy coffee shop or a busy restaurant because um, it's difficult for them to continually go back and make sure that they're booking tables and ordering coffee coffees as quickly as possible. All right guys, so this is what the bot is gonna look like. Um, the mobile experience is a lot better, but you'll get the idea just using the standard version um, of Messenger. So it'll just say, hey, ready to get your, ready to order your coffee, click new order, reorder my usual or find us below. So we'll just go um, new order. Actually, no, we'll go reorder my usual because this is going to say, hey, you haven't ordered before. And I'll, I'll show you how that looks. There we go. So. Hmm, I can't see any previous order orders for you, Luke. Let's order one now. New order. Perfect, what size would you like? So I'll just go a medium. Okay, what would you like? I'd have a latte, please. Okay, so any milk and sugars okay I'm gonna go a skinny and no sugar now that's my actual order if anyone ever wants to get that for me so 
uh, when do you want to pick it up? So it's a 10 minutes from now. All right, cool. So it's all done and that will now go to the coffee shop ready to go. Now, if you want to reorder, so say the next day, you can click on that. Um, and that's it. That's essentially how it's going to look. So again, guys, this is completely free, this, this part of the bot, but the back end of it that sends the order to the coffee shop, just click the link below if you want to check out how to set that up too. So like I said, guys, this is completely free. I'm going to give you this to download and use inside ManyChat. Now, there are, um, obviously, you're going to get coffee shops that don't use a messenger um, and just want like an SMS or an email or uh, I use a Google spreadsheet and they just hit refresh every couple of minutes and they can see all the orders coming through. Or if you want to get really next level, you can set it up so they get a text message and they have a phone desi designated in the restaurant or the coffee shop that gets those orders and they check that or sit it beside the till and they see the orders coming through. So that's the best option. Now, if you guys wanna set that up, I'm gonna have uh, a link below where you can purchase um, my, my funnel to do that. But the bot itself, you guys can have completely free. But if you wanna upgrade that and you, you can charge more for it. So, you know, for you guys to set that up might take you initially an hour but once you've done it, it just runs by itself and the coffee shop will be super stoked because they're going to get heaps of orders coming through and it'll just keep the wheels turning. And most of the time, they're happy to pay you five, six, seven hundred dollars for that um, funnel to work. And it is really, really cool. So um, links below for the free bot. If you want to check out the, um, the additional bolt-on, that's also below as well. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Um, go out there and start selling. Cheers.